Hey everyone, Morgan here. So a couple years ago, I took a class from Tactical Fitness Austin and he, it was a concealed carry Krav Maga class and he had us, uh, you know, unload our firearms and um, holster them, put our holsters on the way that we just wore them naturally. And um, then he had us run around, roll around the ground, jump up and down. He had us do these things to test um, our holsters and I loved it and at the time I took a sticky holster and he even looked at the holster and was like oh a sticky holster well we'll see how it goes and uh, I was all like whatever I like my sticky holster and uh, I actually learned a valuable lesson about how it moved it actually moved quite a bit it didn't my my gun never came out and the firearm the the holster never like moved a whole lot but it did move a little bit like it was it moved a little bit deeper into uh my my pants and at one point it actually was scooting up out of my pants that made me very uncomfortable so after that class i actually um went home and i come i got rid of the sticky holster and i focused on my inside the waistband holster now my firearm is completely unloaded for all you safety sallies out there i have completely unloaded it magazine's not in okay so when you are doing this completely unload your firearm so it's safe okay um now i am going to be using this holster this is by raw dog tactical this is something i've been using for a couple years now i love it um it definitely shows the wear um but i love it and i'm also going to be using this outside the waistband holster from alien gear i'm going to be doing an official video on this soon but um whatever holster that you use regularly holsters you know no matter what it is it doesn't matter or whether it's those like exercise pants with the you know with the holsters in it whatever you use to carry conceal or open i want you to make sure oops this is upside down i want you to make sure that um they are a good fit for you and that you know when we when we get into scuffles you know if you were in a self-defense situation i don't know if you've ever watched any self-defense videos but sometimes there's some scuffles and there's pushing to the ground there's there's ground fighting there's all these things you don't want to ever get to that point but let's say that you know you do and you need to get access to your firearm but your firearm has fallen out of your holster or your holster has completely come off because it's not a reliable holster you know you need to to kind of simulate that kind of stuff so here are a few techniques i'm going to be getting a little dirty it's going to hurt a little bit but that's okay um and i am going to be uh, testing it with the actual firearm and holsters that i'm using so let's uh let's let's get crazy first of all we're just going to do some very simple jumping and running stuff like that so you just want to like jump around get crazy squat it down this also shows you how it feels when you squat when you bend over when you're moving around right you want to see how this is feeling how it's reacting yeah Woo! Oh, 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 oh. you know when you're running you never know right i'm not trying to be silly but i'm not trying to run crazy either you know you want to you want to just get crazy with it <laughs> now once you've done that for a little bit I want you to actually get to, get to the ground, move around. Now, <laughs> what's she doing? Get up, do some burpees, right? Are these burpees? Oh my gosh, who does this? Okay, all right. Really don't need to do it long to know uh, how your holster is going to be behaving in those variety of factors. We're not looking for comfort. We're not looking for the fact that, oh, my holster hurt me. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the fact that it stays put, that more specifically, your gun stays in the holster, right? And that the holster is staying put as well because especially when you train, you know, you're training for very certain positions. If you reach down for your gun and it's right there, but after this little scuffle or running or whatever, it's adjusted over here, you're going to go down, get to it and be like, oh my gosh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Where's my gun? You are, 
the adrenaline, the situation, the stress and everything could freak you out. So if your gun's way over here, but you know, you want it here, if it's moved like a little bit like that, it's not that big a deal. But if it's moved like a lot, that's a big deal, especially considering how you would normally train with your firearm. All right, I'm gonna do the same with the outside, the waistband holster. I've been wearing the inside and the outside lately. So, and again, I'll do official review on this. So that locks in, which already I'm gonna tell you I love. But anyway, I'm gonna do those same techniques and exercises and uh, see how it feels. success this outside the waistband holster is awesome all right i highly encourage everyone to try out these techniques even if just for a few moments you know if you can really you know strap it on and do it for like a really long time that would be great because you know there may not be much movement within you know the first 30 seconds or something but maybe it'll start creeping the more that it happens now this is basically stress testing your holsters and it may be an eye-opener that you may need to make some adjustments. I was really sad to get rid of that sticky holster, to be quite honest. I really liked it. But I moved on to options that were much better for me and that work out way better. This can be done while you're watching TV. It doesn't have to be like any special event. Just throw on your holster, whatever you're using, and just go, you know, jog in place, go up and down, do some burpees, roll around on the ground. Have some fun with it because this will definitely... Um, be an eye opener or it'll tell you that you've made a great choice in your holsters and you're good to go either way you're gonna learn something thank you all so much for watching conquer tomorrow by preparing today i'll talk to y'all later bye